Welcome back to Steamboat Today. I am here with two lovely ladies from the Bud Warner Memorial Library. This is Chris Painter, a director, and Susan DeWart, you are on the board, correct? That's right. Tell me, what's going on with the library expansion project? I heard about it. I'm really curious what's going on with it. Well, we're very pleased to announce that construction has started um, this past week on the expansion and renovation of the Bud Warner Memorial Library, which will provide much-needed space for collections, um, services, programs, and people. Okay. Um, tell me more, like, what, what's going to be included in the expansion? I read somewhere it's 25,000 feet, correct? Correct. It's The addition is um, about 25,000 square feet. The existing library is about 9,300 square feet. Um, the existing library will be remodeled to bring it back to its original 1960s architecture when it was built in memory of Bud Werner with the beautiful open glue lamb uh, beams in the ceiling. Um, there will be, in the, the expanded part, um, will include uh, a wonderful children's library, much expanded and designed to be a very hands-on, whimsical, interactive place to spend time, kids and parents. Um, teens are going to have their very own library. With the um, uh, one of the requests in our teen focus groups was was that they have a teen loft or teen mezzanine, which has been included in the design. Um, I'm very excited about the enhanced people spaces, um, in terms of comfy reading areas, places to curl up. There is. Um, an outdoor reading deck up on the second level wow. that overlooks the Yampa River, Soda Creek, and Halston Hill. And um, plenty of places for small group meetings, people getting together, uh, large program space, and, and definitely space for, for more collections, books, uh, DVDs, um, audio. And so we're pretty excited about it. I think one of the aspects I really um, am proud and very pleased to announce is that the library is, um, the expansion is um, a LEED certified design building and so we're doing absolutely everything mm -hmm. possible to build green and be a model for the community. Yeah, I read that. Isn't this going to be the first public library in Colorado to have a LEED certificate, right? That's what we're hoping. Yeah. That's, so what, why, like, did you guys decide? To expand it, what, who, who came up with the idea to do it? Um. We are, we've been short on space for many, many years. We have um, no space for additional books. Um, for many years, we've had books on carts. Um, we don't have enough public computers to meet demand. Uh, teens have sort of a funky little space in the basement. Um, the children's programs, we have um, often 100 kids attending programs. There's no dedicated space for that. We are very short on staff space. And we've done a lot of groundwork in terms of community involvement, in planning, in needs assessment, in um, uh, site strategy for what's the best way to configure a new building. Um, on the site incorporating the existing Bud Werner Library, which is a very distinct um, architectural landmark with the strong uh, angled roof line. That so, sounds awesome. Like, I can't wait to check it out. Do you know when it's going to be ready? Um, we expect that the project will be completed about, um, be about 18 months, fall um, of 2008. Oh, I won't be here to check it out, but I'm, I'm really excited to see what it looks like. Um, uh, what's your favorite aspect? What are you looking forward to the most I just, about it? I'm really excited about the expanded people spaces. Right now, if you go into the library, there's literally no place to sit. Um, you can't browse uh, several books and then choose one. You have to either take them or stand in the cramped spaces. So it's going to be a much more relaxing pit. Place. and people are accustomed to coming and reading magazines and newspapers and relaxing there. Um, the, the kids space, we just, like Chris says, we don't have room for programming right now. Um, the summer program's outside. 
If mm. it rains, there's no program. It's really cramped. So there's going to be a really nice dedicated children's area with puppet theater things. And awesome. um, it's going to be a great place. Plus the expanded adult spaces for programming. We don't have any adult programming right now. I mean, if you remember 10, 15 years ago, there was a space mm. in the basement and there were book um, uh, book talks and book clubs could meet and we're going to have that back and that's going to be great. That is so exciting. I'm really excited that this is happening. If somebody wants to read about it or visit the library, where can they, is there a website or the address phone number that they can? We have, uh, the library's um, website is www.steamboatlibrary.org and we've been trying to update the expansion um, portion of the website frequently with what's happening sort of week by week as far as construction goes. Mm -hmm. um, our phone number also is 879-0240. And it's important to note we're going to be open um, full speed seven days a week throughout construction um, so as not to inconvenience users. Yeah. Definitely. And um, come on down and see what's happening. Well, thank yeah. you so much, ladies. Make sure you check out the library now and even in 18 months when it's oh, done. Yeah. I cannot wait for that. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more Steamboat today.